Hello and welcome back to another 3ds Max tutorial. I'm going to use this tutorial to refresh some of the more previous tutorials, some of the earlier ones, as well as add, adding in some new and more um, more advanced um, modifying and um, editing tools. So let's get started. I'm going to go straight in and draw. Go to Extended Primitives. I'm going to draw in a chamfer box. So I'm going to just draw a dice, and I'm going to use the Pro Boolean tool to cut out. Um, some of the more or some of the, the 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 circles or the dots on the dice, and the Pro Boolean tool is a great great useful useful tool. So I'm just setting up a box 50 by 50 by 50 with an 8 mil fillet and five segments to give that a nice smooth smooth um, corners, give a nice smooth smooth um, appearance. Okay, so we look down at our top. Go to standard primitives. Select your sphere. And then click on Auto Grid. I'm going to take away the grid from the viewport, and I'm not going to draw in a, a sphere in the top left-hand corner. I'm going to give it a radius of five, and then I'm going to move it. I'm going to copy it four times. In this case, I'm going to make it an instance, so that it's uh, referring to the other the other circles or the other spheres. That's fine. Let's go over here. Draw in three on this side because each side of a, of a dice must add up to seven in total. Opposite sides of the dice must add up to, to, uh, to seven. So I'm going to draw this as, quick as, it, as quickly as I can. So I didn't need to make that one an instance, but that's fine. I can just delete that one. Move him over. So four and three for that side. Okay. And let's draw in five and two. Draw in that radius. Make him a radius of five. Sorry, actually, I didn't. Didn't give these guys a proper radius, I don't think. No, I didn't. So I can go back into my modifier, radius them all to five mil. That's great. So we're doing that. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to reference them again. So this is going to be five of them. One, two. That's fine. Put them to the center. Move them up. Okay. That's five, and this time we're going to have two. Give him a radius of five. Just move him over, make him an instance again. And then we'll have six and one. So five, one, two, three, four, five, and didn't mean to do that. Cancel him. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about the placement. Just going to try and get through these as quick as possible. Just make it look pretty close. And the last one, we just have one in the center. Give him a radius of five. Okay. Hope that wasn't too tedious. So we have our chamfered box with each of our numbers, each of our dots. Our sphere is what's making up our dots. Okay. So I'm going to click on the first sphere, I'm going to press shift and click on the last sphere, so that will select each and every one. I'm going to go up to the menu bar and press group, so they can all be selected as one, and we're going to call these dots. Okay. <clears throat> so now when I select one, they're all selected. So I'm going to give these guys a material. I touched on it in the last tutorial. I'm going to press N to bring up the material editor. 
and again I'm just going to use a standard go to architectural and I'm going to give this a diffuse color of black straight up that's fine I'm going to copy that material to the next one just simply by clicking and dragging I'm going to give him number two otherwise it will clash and I'm going to give him a diffuse color of white that's fine so I'm going to click on the black my dots are selected so I'm going to um, add material to that selection and I'm going to show it in the viewport so they can be seen like so then I'm going to click on the the, the chamfer box click on the white material assign him to that and there you have it I'm just going to press shift and Q so there you can see it's rendered up quite nicely so now to some more advanced modeling I'm going to use the pro boolean so go to compa compound objects I'm going to zoom in on that uh, compound objects click on your chamfered box now see you have pro, Boole pro boolean is now active go to pro boolean I'm going to see what it's asking me what is, what is it looking for me to do so I'm going to zoom out a little bit so it says here subtraction so we want to subtract so I'm going to start picking the box the, the, the dots now rather than selecting them all individually because we have them grouped we simply doesn't need to uh, select uh, select the, the sphere but also you can see here it says apply operant material so I'm going to select on the spheres let it do its work click away and now we can see our dice is now has now been cut up I'm going to control I'll press shift and Q and now we can see our dice now is now um, complete with our boxes with our spheres used to cut out our um, our dots okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy shift and move to clone him have him as an instance and I'm just going to rotate him just to give him a nice effect that nice dice effect where they're almost rolling I'll rotate this guy as well ever so slightly taking away from the six a touch now well, that looks a little bit more realistic shift and Q again to render that looks like they're on the move okay so I'm just going to undo those two rotations ever so slightly I'm actually going to delete that guy for a sec and I'm just going to move him directly above have him as an instance that's fine now so if we go here to our command bar, our command panel, go to dynamic objects. So then here we have a spring. And we have a whole load of parameters here that we can that we can use to create our spring. So I'm just going to click, drag out, and drag up. And now we can play around, we can play around with these parameters yourself, have some fun, but we can dictate the number of turns, simply roll up and down, or you can you can manually add and the number of turns that you wish so I'm just going to put in three turns and now we can actually bind this object to another object so you see you'll find bound to object pivots and now it's asking me to pick a top object and to pick a bottom object I'll zoom in on that so you can see so you have bound to object pivots pick top object pick bottom object so I'm going to pick the top object I'm going to pick the top dice I'm going to go back over then I'm going to pick bottom object like so and now I'm going to zoom out and I'll zoom in on the entire viewport so I'm going to select the dice and move it and when I move the dice you can see that it brings the spring with it I can move it back over here some more zoom out a little bit and there you have it and you can rotate it like so okay so there's a little introduction to some dynamic objects I recommend having some fun and playing around with that and the Pro Boolean is a very useful tool and I hope that this um, tutorial was useful just as a, as a refreshing tutorial and we're going to move on to some more complex modeling and modifiers in the next tutorial okay thank you very much and I will see you then